what's up guys it's Somi here and today I'm going to tell you about how to back up and organize your data while you are traveling I have actually faced a lot of disaster in the past so I pretty much know what's the exact and right method to do it and I do it right now all right so first we are going to discuss about how to back up the data and after that we'll discuss how to organize this data now about the backup you need to have at least two backups for your data do not depend on your camera memory d-o-n-o-t on the camera memory it's disaster and it's terrible you need to have at least one hard drive i would say and maybe you can get a xena box i have actually ordered from bh and i'm going to get it like two days uh, on 20th i'm going to get it so it's an amazing piece of art it has been developed by a company from california and they have done a fantastic job on that that uh, device has actually gotten phone app and it actually allows you to edit and trim your videos or photos right from the application you can just insert your uh, i mean sd card into it and it backups the data into the um, it has got memory as well so i guess it's around 300 dollars something like that so even if, if you are not trying to or do not want to spend on that you can just have like a uh, few pen drives and one external hard drive maybe that is what i do right now because since i haven't got the gina box yet so this is what i do i keep three pen drives of 256 gb sandisk of course and i keep a two terabyte of wireless western digital and it allows me to import my data right from the card into the hard drive it's kind of easy you just have to insert the hd card and from the application from your phone application you just have to click on import and it imports complete card data to your uh, i mean those wireless drives so it's a uh, very handy i actually carry them all the time so uh, that is one and then the pen drives at least three 250 gb 256 gb i mean uh, so uh, this is what i do every day after the shoot once i reach the hotel uh, i get those data right onto my both the locations one is the pen drives and other one is the hard drives so hard drives are slow i mean the external hard drive the pen drives are too fast so i normally edit my videos and all that stuff right from the pen drives they are fast so that is for the backup now how do we organize those data i shoot while i'm traveling i shoot with around four to five cameras like I Sony A7S2, Panasonic GH5, then GoPro 4, GoPro 5, both are black, and then Mavic Pro, uh, then my phone cameras as well, iPhone and the Samsung H7 Plus. So there are like five to six devices, and I need to, I mean, remember all of them which data goes where. So what I do is I make the folders date wise and day wise. Like if it's day one, I make it like 19th August, day one, and inside that I make camera folders for each like a7s2 one folder then gh5 one folder gopro 5 one folder gopro 4 one folder everyone goes into one single folder and then i get those cards import those data right onto the folder and that's it once one drive is copied then i format all the i mean the sd cards and micro sd cards then copy all together everything to those hard drives so basically i have got two images one is on the pen drive one is on the external hard drive so pretty much i'm set even if i lose the hard drive or the pen drive at least i have the data on the other one so i'm not going to lose the data anymore because i have faced those disaster in the past when i was dependent on the camera memory i thought wow i have 128 gb of card so i'm pretty much set and it's going to work but that doesn't happen those cards which are using on your camera they are like working hard too hard to get your data right onto it like if you are shooting 4k like i do i shoot everything on 4k so it's like burning data each second at around 100 mb per second and 150 mb per second so your cards are like working too hard to save your data you just cannot depend on them to save your data for the day until you reach home or reach office to edit so just don't depend on them get those data right onto your cards i mean those external pen drives and those external hard drives so this is how i do i mean 
I back up those data, then organize them correctly. So once I'm back home, what I do is I just get them onto my red drives and format those drives again and keep them ready for my next travel. So once it's on the red, I am all right so because in the red I have got red 10 drives. So I have multiple images of my images, stock files, source files, everything. That's it. I mean, if you do it right, you are not going to lose your data. Like everyone does, I never lose any of my data. It has been pretty much accurate for me. So I hope you learn something from this and do the right thing. Bye-bye. Until next time.